Dear Diary, it's been a couple days. I've fallen ill and fell into a darkness. I tried to picture a future outside of this dull routine of high and crash, this incessant pursuit of dopamine hit our brain has been brainwashed into by social media and the tech world, with Iblis on top, and I couldn't. I watched the survival show of Wits and Games and realized that each of those people got to where they were not by watching others, but by doing. I tried to get myself to do and venture out on an adventure outside the confines of my bed and phone, but it stayed a mere thought. In the past two days, the most I've done was go to the store next door and order breakfast. But this life sounds pathetic. And totally not me. I love adventure, challenge, new experiences. My brain is being taught by Iblis to let go of all that makes me me and follow his regiment. But you know what, diary? He is boring. Like, really dull and lacks creativity. Everything he offers is same old, same old. Like, a recipe without spices. He's like white people cooking. Bland, but looks good on Instagram. But one thing he really knows and has studied is me. He knows how to bait me and what makes me itch. He introduced those things to me, but I know he hates me because despite how hard he tries, I always come back. Always. I always make my comeback. And there he goes again, having to push that same rock up that same hill again. I would love to keep watching him push but I'm not content. I want the rock that he's rolling to start weighing heavier and heavier with each roll until he finds it impossible to roll. I want him to try for so long until he loses hope, like his name. And then he'll try to just chip at me instead. I really feel like a prisoner who left prison a while back, but because the world feels so strange outside of the prison, has been wanting to go back to familiarity. But it's time to let go of the prison that has suffocated me. It's time to step purposefully forward and choose life over prison, desperately and intentionally. يا أيها الذين آمنوا استعينوا بالصبر والصلاة إن الله مع الصابرين. O you who have believed, seek help through patience and prayer. Indeed, Allah is with the patient. That that was a diary entry. <laughs> Welcome to Studio Diaries. This podcast is a podcast I've been thinking about for quite a while. As my many of my ideas, there's a lot of things marinating majority of the time. I wanted to take this um, approach of speaking frankly and honestly and openly about the things that scare us. Oftentimes as artists, what we portray and put out into the world is this crafted version of ourselves. But... Our studios see the unfinished, the incomplete, the parts of us that we try to hide. I feel like when you're working on a piece or you're producing something, it's really the studio stories that are really cool. The parts that you chose to leave out of the public eye, the parts you chose to keep, the hills that you climb, the times you almost quit, all the questions of I don't know, (laughs) 
Um, and this is going to be a podcast that is just going to go explore that along with me telling stories about my life because I love to write, but I rarely release any of my writings. So this might become an avenue for me to release some of those writings. We'll grow. We'll get naked. <laughs> we'll dig deep. And hopefully at the end of it all, we'll realize that we're not so weak. <laughs> we may be weak, but God got us all. And this life might be confusing, but we have all the tools that we need to survive. And at the end of the day, if we close our eyes, take a deep breath, and ground ourselves, and connect ourselves to Allah, to the universe that he created, align ourselves and our hearts, and recognize that I am a being in this wonderful, amazing creation that you have created. And I recognize you, Ya Allah. If we do that, <laughs> then at least gonna run away crying. He ain't gonna win. So, here we go. Studio Diaries, EP1. My name is Muna Shaq Omar, and peace be with you.